and never turn your face off an orangutan because that's where, where all the accidents happen so ne never be off guard good to know Welcome to Awesome Planet. That is Philippe Cousteau Jr., the grandson of famous explorer Jacques Cousteau. He has traveled around the world helping people better understand science, and soon he is part of a new show called Exploration Awesome Planet. He's been working on that. He's here today to talk with us about a project that just launched in Dallas, looking at where we get our water, how we can preserve it, how we can clean up our water as well, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But let's talk about your grandfather. Um, he passed away in 1997 when you were a teenager. And if it's true what I read, there was a point in your life you didn't know if you were going to follow in the family's footsteps. Was there a turning point? There was a turning point, Ron. You know, when uh, growing up with my grandfather, he was a huge influence on me, of course. But uh, uh, it wasn't until I was about 16 that I had an opportunity to join a, an amazing oceanographer named Eugenie Clark in Papua New Guinea on an expedition. And uh, we spent two weeks out on the water in a, in a liveaboard dive boat, doing research, diving. And I thought to myself, this, uh, this is it. This is pretty amazing. There, there you are with your grandfather. He's looking on there um, in, a yeah, photo, that's me. in a photo that we found online. <laughs> and the bowl haircut. About five years old. The I was just going to say, yeah. I do think my mother's technique was literally to put a bowl <laughs> on my head and, and cut my hair. But it worked. It was okay. Yeah, and people want to know, where's the French accent? We should say your mother's American. Her father actually born in Texas. That's right. That's right. I have a little Texan in me. Uh, I was good. born in L.A. My mother's from California. And uh, her father was from, uh, from here in Texas. And um, so no French accent, much to the disappointment of most people when I talk to them. They expect a little uh, well, well, French the, the, the flair. Word, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what is it someone said to you last night? What is the accent? <laughs> Where is that? Um, so let's talk about your trip to the Trinity. You brought students from 10 or so schools mm -hmm. down to the Trinity River as part of your water monitoring challenge program. And they tested water in the Trinity using some new technology as well. What did you conclude? What's the grade? What's the health of the Trinity? Well, it's the World Water Monitoring Challenge, and this okay. is the big launch this week. Okay. It's a global program in over 120 countries. It's the world's largest water monitoring program anywhere. And, and, you know, fundamentally, it's a program that helps us all understand where our water comes from. It doesn't come out of the tap. It comes from somewhere. And be engaged in the conversation. Texans are no strangers to the water crisis that's facing the United States, and particularly the southwestern United States. And what we're all about is helping young people in particular get engaged in their communities and get dirty, get out there. Mm. Uh, and at Trinity, at the Audubon Center, which is a fabulous place, by the way, uh, it, was, uh, it was about, yeah, eight, eight to ten schools that came out and participated in the, in the launch of this program. We're in New York, L.A., Washington, D.C., and Dallas this week doing that. And, uh, you know, the, the, the water quality out there is actually not too bad. We were, which may be surprising, because I'm, I don't know if a lot of your viewers know that something I learned yesterday was, it was once a, an illegal landfill site. Absolutely. One yeah, and a half million... Uh, tons of trash. We're, well, we're very mindful of it, and in fact, we're mindful of it as, as part of the ongoing discussion of whether the Trinity will ever be a recreational body of water. Can it be flooded? Can it be rehabilitated? And you tend to be, is it not true, more of an optimist when it comes to the health of our water that we can take steps to reverse some of the damage? I am an optimist, and I think that, uh, you know, traveling around the world, one of the things I've seen is certainly a lot of bad news, a lot of devastation, you know, that's what makes the news. We hear about that all the time. A lot time. of bad things. As a you lot of things been going on, but uh, I've also seen opportunities when we give nature a chance, mm. it, it can restore itself quite significantly. So there's always hope. Right? Well, again, this project is it's called the World Water Monitoring Challenge. You can log on to monitorwater.org to get all the information. You'll find resources to get your own school involved. You can do water tests, upload the data yourself, and you're using some technology I think you said your grandfather might have stood back in awe of. Well, you know, I remember I was 11 years old when the Game Boy came out, and mm. I was having dinner with my grandfather in, uh, in New York, and Game Boy was original, the little handheld gaming device right. by Nintendo. He, at the time, was 81. And I remember we had dinner, and he knew more about Game Boy than I did. Look at that. Uh, he loved technology, and I know mm. that being able to have smartphones and, t and, and tablets now, for us to be able to test water in our community and upload that data to a global database in real time, Boy. he would have been so excited. We have one ability. final thing for you. It's a bit of a surprise. You were um, at a party last mm -hmm, night mm -hmm. um, at uh, Bernadette Scheffler's house, yep. and she owns an amazing showroom of furniture and home accessories, and there's an artist. Um, who is inspired by the ocean by scuba diving. Do we have it, guys? We have it? Here it is. So oh, my goodness. You are taking this back with you from this German artist, and as you can see here on the top, this it is, is inspired gorgeous. by sea life. 
and we thought that was just appropriate. They sent that over, so there you have it as you continue that with your That is so good. She's so terrific. Well, yeah. was, uh, we saw it. It was such a wonderful And, and you inspired party, a lot of people it? there. So thank you very much. Thank you. Ron. Good to I see you. It. And congratulations fantastic. with all your success. Thanks so much. All right, Alexa, over to you. Very nice. Now make sure you pack that carefully. <laughs> yes. <your> travel. <laughs> this is a carry-on for sure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Coming up next here on News 8 Daybreak, here's a question.